Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. Good evening, my name is Fajero and I am an Honors Bachelor of Science student graduate working towards medical school. Today we'll be going over some commonly asked chemistry questions at both the high school and college levels. Just to make sure that you can hear me, double checking, perfect. So today we'll be going over as I said, some chemistry questions at both the high school and college levels. If you need some homework and help tutoring, make sure you click on the link down below. And now with that, let's hop straight into our lesson for today, starting with question one. So we should be seeing it here. And the first question is just to draw the Lewis structure for CH5N. So let's begin, shall we? So, question one. Drawing that low structure. So, the way we do this question, um, first we want to just list out the atoms we have. We have a carbon, we have five hydrogens, and we have a nitrogen. So, the way these lower structures usually work is that we want to organize it in a way where everything is fulfilled but we find that out actually so we definitely need help from our trusty periodic table so right there we have it ready and so we have carbon and carbon has four valence electrons so we're just going to list it down here hydrogen has a valence electron each so we put it as one, but because there's five of them, that's five electrons. Nitrogen also has five electrons. So with that in total, we just add this up, four plus five plus five. We have a total of 14 valence electrons we have to account for. Now, usually the way you wanna do this is that because carbon and nitrogen are the one with the most valence electrons, that's the one you wanna center in the middle here. So you kinda of just draw like, well, actually let's not add the electrons just yet. We draw the carbon and nitrogen next to each other. And now, as you remember, two electrons, so drawn like that, this is a single bond. Okay? So, with that information, we just go ahead and start filling in uh, the carbon and the nitrogen. So, this is what we have so far, a single bond between carbon and nitrogen. Now here, because hydrogen is five, we can kind of just offshoot and try to throw in as many hydrogen as possible. Because I'm very familiar with this, I have a certain way of doing it. But first, let's do it in a way to what we didn't assume. So let's say this was one bond here, right? This is counted as one of carbon's four electrons and one of nitrogen's five electrons. So nitrogen still needs four more and carbon still needs three more. So let's just fill it in here. One, two, three. So that's theoretically carbon right now. And nitrogen would be one, two, three, four. So carbon and nitrogen are now quote unquote done and what they can contribute. Now we start throwing in the hydrogens. I just like throwing it in every corner that's free, aka has only one valence electron or even none, depending on how a complex question be. Usually it needs at least one though for the bond to actually form. So hydrogen, we just throw it in there for every part that has one. So, and we know hydrogen each comes with one valence electron, so we kind of just add that in there. And funny enough, actually, we actually get the five hydrogens, one, two, three, four, five. And if we count the valence electrons, it should actually equal 14. So let's see, two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14. Perfect. And now as a last step, we try to see if this is actually their preferred state. So what we do here is that carbon, as we stated, it originally starts with four. And let's see, based on the formula that I'm going to write down, if it still has a net charge of zero. So carbon, okay, four is its preferred value. Subtracting all of its 
non-paired electrons, which is a zero, minus, plus its paired electrons, so it has eight of those electrons, but it's divided by two since it's paired. So that's four, oh sorry, so that's four minus this, and that gives us zero. And now for nitrogen, we do the same thing. Nitrogen prefers five minus, notice that it has one lone pair, so nothing attached to it. So we can put two here plus, but it has still six of them that's attached, six over two also equals zero, because this is a four here, this is a three here, and now for hydrogen, just to double check, it's one minus zero plus two over two, which is a one, and that's also a zero. So that fulfills all our requirements. If we now go back to the question, we'll see here, this is exactly what they have. So with that, this question is indeed correct. And we can now move on to the next question. So.